Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to change her eye color. This is pretty simple. I'm going to come down here and this is going to be our adjustment layers. You're going to click on that. We're going to do hue and saturation and this allows us to change colors for the entire image. Now we're just going to work on the master layer right now. There's other layers that we can work on. Now if you'll notice it changes everything. I'm just focused on her eyes. Just kind of ignore everything else and focus on her eyes. So I'm going to go with a blue and you can increase the saturation and you can see how intense that gets. You can lower the saturation and it starts to go to this black and white image. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of keep the saturation just a little low because I don't want them a super intense blue. Now obviously we don't want the whole image this way. So what you're going to do is on this little layer mask that it creates, you're going to make sure that's selected and you're going to come up to edit and you're going to fill. Fill it with black so it covers everything. Now you're going to take your paintbrush tool and select white and you're just going to paint. Make sure your opacity is 100. You're just going to paint her eyes. So I'm just coming in here and just painting the eyes. So now any color changes I make on that adjustment layer will only affect her eye color. So this makes it really nice because I can turn this on or off. If I select the left side here, I can change the color very easily. I wanted to have some more like blue gray over here. This is kind of nice. So you can go through and change that. Okay. So that's how you would simply change the color of the eyes. You would use the same technique to let's say brighten her lips. So I'm going to create another layer, hue and saturation, focusing just on the lips. Going to get them a little bit more saturated. And then same technique, go up to edit. Go down to fill, fill it with black using the paintbrush tool with white paint. I'm going to simply kind of paint her lips. Now don't get too carried away with this because if you do, if you're not zoomed in, you can make it look like she has a really bad lipstick job. So this kind of helps highlight some of the features a little bit more. And we would use essentially the same type of adjustment layers to even whiten the teeth. There's a few different ways you can whiten the teeth. Um, we've already kind of done some corrections to them, but you can go ahead into your adjustment layers again, and you have to kind of see which one works better. Does color balance, does hue and saturation, which one of these works better? So if we click on color balance, you'll see here, that it really allows you to change the colors pretty dramatically. So, you know, this one might not be the best option. It really just depends on the picture. So I'm going to delete that. Come back into hue and saturation. And see if I can maybe bump the saturation up a little. See, she starts to get too much yellow in the teeth. So you just got to be careful. And sometimes it's all about playing around and figuring out which um, which adjustment layer is best. So let's try color balance again. Maybe bring in some of the cyan. You can even change it to the highlights and this will just focus on the highlighted areas. So more of her teeth. So you really just have to play around with your colors. There is no perfect formula. Every image is different. So a lot of it is just kind of selecting and seeing what you get. So if this doesn't work, there are other methods of how you can come in and actually whiten the teeth. I know sometimes what we do is you can actually take the paintbrush tool with white paint and you can play around with these. Um, so we can do multiply. Oops. 
There we go. And you can kind of add some white this way. And it's very gradual because it's kind of painting. Oh, well, that doesn't help because I'm not even on a new layer. So, see? Problems. So, I'm going to add a new layer. Come in here. Obviously, we don't want black. We want white. If it's too intense, you can lower your opacity. And even that can still be too intense. So there's a lot of, whoa. All right, clicked on something, sorry. There's a lot of different, a different methods that you can do. Sorry, I'm just undoing. Um, and you can play around with a lot of these. Um, usually multiply is pretty good. Light and overlay is nice. So it really just depends on your image. So that's a lot better. But maybe I don't want the flow to be 100%. Maybe I need even less opacity. And come in here and just very gradually lighten up. Working small and working gradual is usually best with these things. All right, you can't rush this stuff. So I'm very lightly, very, very lightly. So I'm going to up this just a tiny bit. So you can start to see it a little bit more. So very gradually, I can even come in here a little bit closer with an even smaller brush if I wanted to get even more of this area here. Okay. So you can start to do that kind of stuff and see how it's kind of brightened it up. Now you want to make sure your shadows aren't unrealistic, so you might have to come in here and clean this up a little bit here, but you don't want it to look too unrealistic.